Today I'm going to show you guys how to use printable vinyl using your inkjet printer along with your Cricut. Hi, I'm Crystal. Welcome to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well as that notification bell down below so you don't miss any of our crafting tutorials. Coming up, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut printable vinyl using your Cricut. So make sure you guys stay tuned all the way to the end because you don't wanna miss a thing. Now let's go ahead and start off with what is printable vinyl compared to sticker paper? Printable vinyl is vinyl, so it's adhesive vinyl. So it definitely has a stronger grip to it in a sense where you can't just rip it like this. So with sticker paper, you can actually tear it in half if you have a laminate coating on it, which I've showed you guys before, make sure you check out our other sticker videos where I've showed you adding on glitter laminate, which makes it more durable, which is kind of like the adhesive vinyl and you can't tear it at that point. So this is adhesive vinyl that you can actually print on. So the one that I'm using today is by Paper Studio. So I just grabbed this at Hobby Lobby. Usually you can check at Walmart, you can check at Michaels, all of those different places, as well as online. I'll actually link you guys below to Amazon in case you want to purchase online but there's a lot of different places that actually carry this including Cricut has their own brand and I do believe that Silhouette also has one. So this one is by Paper Studio. One thing that you may notice right away when you start to use printable vinyl is it's not glossy. So you're sitting here thinking essentially I feel like it's sticker paper but it's not. So if you guys use matte adhesive vinyl that's what it feels like. So it's a matte version of of adhesive vinyl. There is different ones out there, but it's hard to print on something with a gloss and the ink go into it. So it needs to be able to penetrate into that. And that's why it almost feels like a paper. But at the end of the day, it's gonna give you a matte adhesive vinyl. Now, what can you do with printable vinyl? So many different things. You can create stickers, you can create car decals, decal stickers to go on your laptop. Maybe you want to create an entire laptop cover or do pen wraps. You could do um, candle labels. There is so many different things that you can do with printable vinyl. Now today, I'm just simply gonna show you guys using some of these designs here because you can definitely use anything that is PNG version. So clip art, you can use the sublimation designs as well as stickers like this. So printable vinyl is essentially creating a decal, no matter what way you look at it. So these would be perfect to stick on a laptop or maybe personalize somebody's lunchbox, or maybe you wanna customize a tumbler with a bunch of stickers all over it. There's this one here, I wanted to show you guys an example because they're so cute, including this little cactus here. These ones right here are absolutely adorable. These are cute little food characters, and these would be perfect to put on a lunchbox, also the tumbler like I talked about. And then we also have these ones right here. There's so many, we have sticker bundles, you name it, but this is just a couple to show you some really fun decals that you can make. I really love these, and I think they would be adorable on a cell phone case or even a laptop. So I'm gonna make some of these today before we jump on over to Cricut Design Space, we need to download our files. So I've already purchased this, so all I have to simply do is go to download files, find my file here, click on it, and it's went straight to my computer. Jumping into Cricut Design Space, we're simply gonna come right over here to upload. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna come right up here to upload an image, and then we're gonna go to browse. Once you locate that folder, you're just simply gonna find the one you wanna use. So this one says Cricut Silhouette, so I'm gonna click on this. And so you can bring these in an entire sheet, which I absolutely love. Some stickers come in individual, but these in particular come in an entire sheet, which you can definitely get rid of some of those if you would like. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we're gonna hit Complex and then we're gonna hit continue. As you can see, we have brought this in an entire sheet, which is personally my favorite way whenever I'm making sticker sheets because I would actually want all of these guys. Now, if you weren't creating an entire sticker sheet and you only wanna use one of these or maybe some of these, there's a couple things that you can actually do. So you could come down here and you can select the eraser. And then what I like to do is make my eraser size 100 and then you can go in here and you can just simply erase those or you can simply come up here to the crop tool and then you can select out the ones that you want. So say for example, I wanted this one here. I would just go over it with a crop tool, let go of it 
and it's simply going to crop it down to that one. Now you notice that we have a little bit left here. So all I would do is go back over to this side, go to that eraser tool, and then I would come in here and I would just simply erase out anything that was remaining. So I'm happy with this. I would go ahead and hit apply and continue. Then you're gonna choose the print and cut image and we are going to click on upload. From here, we're going to select our sticker. We're gonna click add to canvas. Now that we have it on our canvas, you can see that this guy came in nice and large, which is gonna keep all of that detail. So there's something really cool. Cricut has actually now made it to where you can have bigger print and cut images. And so before to figure out your measurements, all you had to do was come over here and hover. If you click on this little red icon, it would tell you those exact dimensions. So we used to, we could only do 6.75 by 9.25. Now it goes off of the individual image. So whenever you click on that, it will tell you that it's too large. And the biggest size that you can do is 6.71 by 9.94. What's also really cool is Cricut allows you now to click on auto resize image. So you don't have to come in here and click on any of these little pieces here. You're simply gonna be able to click on auto and this guy is going to be perfect. So now we can cut this guy out at the max size that we could. Now another really cool feature with the print and cut is if you click on this once again, if you have that red icon, you're gonna have where it says change page size. So if you click on that, there now is a few other options. So you can actually print on up to an A3, which is 11.7 by 16.5. That's quite large, which is gonna be awesome for doing those cutouts. So if you have a printer that is capable of printing on that size, Imagine this is a big cutout that we could stick on cardboard and then take our knife tool and cut around that cardboard and have these big cutouts for the birthday party. So cool, right? So these are amazing ideas that you guys can use with printable vinyl. So there is bigger printable vinyl that you guys could grab on like Amazon and things like that as well. So you could achieve something like that. So what I'm actually gonna do is stick with that 11.5. So we're gonna hit done. And I'm gonna go ahead and resize that one more time. Auto resize image. So this guy is completely ready to go. It already has a little offset around it and everything like that. So what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna click on make it. One thing that you may notice as well is that black border for the print and cut that I've showed you in the past is completely gone. Cricut has recently, it's still in beta, so you would have to change your settings over to beta. If you don't know how to do that, I'll have the video linked above so I can show you guys how to accomplish that. But you wanna have this in beta mode as we speak. Now, when you're watching this may have already been released, but I'm not too sure when Cricut's gonna actually roll that out. But what you're gonna notice is now there is just these little corners here similar to the silhouette. If you're familiar with the silhouette, this is how they do theirs. And you also now notice this red cut line. So it's showing you that's as big as you could cut without it cutting, you know, getting outside of that line, if you will. So I really like that as well, which allows us for a bigger print than cut. So what we wanna do now is we are going to hit continue. We are going to hit send to printer. Then at this point, you're gonna choose your printer, which I'm using the Canon, and I'll have this link down below for you guys. I've grabbed this guy at or my local Walmart for like 49 bucks. It has been tried and true with me. I love it for all of my stickers and print and cut projects. So I'm using this Canon here. I wanna turn off the bleed line because I don't, technically have a bleed. Since my offset is in white, I don't I don't wanna waste any more area and, and have it cut anywhere else. So if your offset was pink or blue or something, you may wanna do that so that way you accidentally don't get off, but I just turn it off. So at this point, we're gonna get ready to print, but before we do, we wanna load our printable vinyl. So you wanna make sure you load that in the correct direction. So there is a back of it looks like this that has the logo on it. So we wanna have that towards the printer and then the side that we're gonna print on face out. Now, if you were loading it in a tray like this, you would actually load it face down with that backing where it says Paper Studio up and that way it would feed it through. So we're gonna load mine just like this. And then we are gonna go ahead, I don't have to extend mine because it's gonna land out on this table and we're gonna go ahead and hit print.
All right, so as you can see here is our perfect print. And now, like I said, we just have these little squares, which I love. We did not need that entire black square before. So what we're gonna do is get ready to load this on the map. For this, I'm gonna simply be using my blue map. I like to use it for my sticker paper. It just works a whole lot better. And so what we're gonna do is we are gonna load this on our Cricut mat. And I'm just going to avoid that ink area and just go around where the white is to make sure it's fully down on the mat. So you wanna make sure that it is loaded on the mat in the same way that it is showing in Cricut Design Space. You can simply hover over that mat to get another good look at it to make sure you're doing that right. So next, I'm gonna simply choose Premium Vinyl Permanent Glossy, and then we're gonna re get ready to load it. So we're gonna load it under the white feet, get it in here, and we're gonna get ready to cut it. Now what we're gonna do is we're simply just gonna hit the go button. It's gonna go in here, read those black lines so it knows exactly where to cut, and then it's gonna cut it out for us. Now that it's done cutting, we are ready to hit that unload button. We're gonna flip this guy upside down, get rid of our mat. Now let's get ready to weed it out. So I'm just simply gonna take a corner here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and weed. And you're gonna see that it cut, perfectly cut all the way around. So compared to whenever we normally cut stickers and we choose either sticker paper or the washi tape setting, with this one, which is a kiss cut, you can see that there, this is just using the permanent vinyl glossy setting because at the end of the day, it's adhesive vinyl. Now we're ready to get this on the laptop. So with this, I don't need a carrier sheet or anything like that. It's just a very simple decal. You could stick this on your car. There's so many different things. Like I said, you could customize your Cricut if you wanted to. That's what this printable vinyl is perfect for. Now, if you're considering something like a laptop, when I go to open this, this is actually gonna be sideways, but that's totally okay. So you may wanna pay attention to how big you can go in that direction if that's something you wanna do. So all we're simply gonna do now is peel this guy off very carefully. And we have a huge sticker as you guys can see here. How cool is that guy? So cute. Make sure you guys definitely check these out. And then we're going to go right on here. Drop that down and we're just gonna smooth everything out. I don't need a squeegee or anything like that. It's just that simple and I was able to customize my laptop. So cute, and that's gonna last a long time. So I'll bring that up so you guys can see it a little bit better. You guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever tried using printable vinyl. This one is the one, like I said, from Hobby Lobby. It's the Paper Studio brand, but there is a lot more out there. Probably get more bang for your buck somewhere else, but I'll have one linked down below, like I said, from Amazon but it is so much fun and you can customize and personalize, especially even doing those pin wraps. So much fun. You guys let me know in the comments below if you guys have used printable vinyl. If you do, what have you used it for? And if you guys have got inspiration today to go out there and make projects using printable vinyl. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well as that notification bell down below so you guys don't miss any of our crafting tutorials.